Okay, welcome back. This is part 14, I believe it is, of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. Uh, in part 13 slash 2 or dash 2, um, we finished up the user activation uh, by email, so the email activation. Um, and now I didn't show you this in the video, which I forgot to. If you go ahead and go to your database and you go to browse, and remember I created that user uh, by the registration form. If you scroll all the way over, you can see we have our active value and uh, it changed it to one. Um, so you can tell that it is that it did in fact activate the user uh, because by default we set that active value to zero which means that that person is not active. So yeah, because um, I forgot to show that in the last video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this index page and I'm going to rename it to login.php. So we're going to start on our login now. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the title to login. I'm going to get rid of the left and right columns. And inside of our full, I'm actually just going to put uh, PHP tags. Okay, so inside of here we have our login page now I still have the same activate page open that I activated uh, with using my email so it, it even still has the uh, do you want Chrome to save your password little dialogue thing so it's exactly the same uh, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to create a variable actually we're gonna say uh, we need to come all the way to the top here above our title and we want to say session underscore start so that will actually uh, start our session to make it so people can actually log in. So we want to create our form, and like always, I'm going to store it in a variable. And oh, I'm going to say form action equals, and our action is just going to be login.php. So it's going to be self-submitting form, like usual. And our method is going to be post, like usual, uh, especially because this is a login page. So We'll be passing along. Uh, whoa! We'll be passing along um, user uh, information like a password and username, which username not necessarily sensitive, but a password definitely is. Um, so yeah, uh, table and pretty much the same structure I've had it since the beginning. Okay, so we're just going to copy and paste that. So our first field, we're going to say username, colon, and then we're going to have our username box. So input type equals text, name equals username. Um, eh, I guess that's good. Uh, we don't need anything else for that. And I'm just going to copy and paste this three times. So our next field is our password. And then our last field is just our submit button. So we'll get to that in a moment. So for our password box, we're going to change the type to password and the name to password. And for our submit button, we need to uh, change the type to uh, submit. Change the name to login, login btn. Uh -huh. There we go. So login button. And I'm going to change the, I'm going to set a value. And I guess I'll just say login. Um, <clears throat> so something nice and simple. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just say if, and then our structure here, and this is our form. So just like we've had it uh, always. So we're going to say dollar sign underscore post, and then we want to make sure our login button is supplied. So I'm going to go ahead and FTP this file up, and I'm going to click on it using this link here. So I will be right back. Okay, so I FTP'd my file. I'm going to click here on that link on our Activate page. So it takes us to our login page on my website. So we have our basic login form here. Uh, now, eventually, we will uh, put this form, and eventually we'll style the form, and we'll put the form up here. Um, so if you're not logged in, we'll display that. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Uh, in a much later video uh, once we actually get to styling um, after we have the basic functionality down. So inside of here we want to say dollar sign 
username equals dollar sign underscore post and inside of here we just say username now we're going to use the strip tags function again that should be a capital T we use the strip tags function again um, just because uh, you don't really need it here not really too important but eh, um, I don't know why I did it three times and we want to say password and password okay so after that we're going to go a line or two down and we want to say if and then just throw in our brackets get our structure in okay we're going to say if dollar sign username two and signs and then dollar sign password so we're making sure that our username and password have been supplied which means they've actually filled out the form after they've clicked the button um, but if it have not been supplied, if they have not been supplied, we're going to say you did not uh, uh, fill in the entire form and then just the form variable, just like that. So if the user has submitted a username and password, what we want to do now is we want to actually just uh, require, require, and we're going to require our connect file, so scripts forward slash uh, connect.php. And uh, below that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dollar sign pass equals uh, md5, and then like that, um, because I need we need to encrypt our password. And since I'm using double md5 encryption, I need to throw it in there twice. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create our query. So we're going to say dollar sign query equals mysql underscore query. And inside of here, very similar that we did for the, uh, it's actually the exact same uh, query, the first query, query we ran for the activate page to make sure that the user exists. So select all from users, users, where username equals and this is our username variable over here a little bit and then after that we want to say and password equals and then our pass variable there we go so just like that and then we would come down a line and say num rows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows and then our query inside of the parentheses. And we're going to say if num rows, so if dollar sign num rows equals equals one. So we're saying if the username and password match, that's pretty much what it's saying. Um, but if they don't match, we're going to say your login information was incorrect. Incorrect. Eh, two R's there? I don't know. Yeah, I think there's two. Oh, well. Uh, your login information was incorrect, so then we're just going to have our form variable. So if our login information is correct, um, so it's pretty much all there is to it, now what we want to do is we want to say dollar sign uh, row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock. And instead of here, we say our query. So what we're going to do before we log the user in and pass along some information using our sessions, using session variables, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get some additional information from the database. Um, and Now, you may not want all of this information, uh, but I'm going to get a few different pieces of information that's going to make uh, my life a whole lot easier along the road. Uh, but it's nothing sensitive, like nothing, no passwords or anything. Um, it's just going to make uh, our lives a lot easier along the way. So we're going to say DBID, so the database ID for the current user, is, uh, and we're going to get it using that code right there. Uh, so I'm going to stop this video here. In the next part of the video, we will hopefully probably finish up the login, the entire login process, and then we'll also do the logout process in the next video or two. So check out the next part of the series.